Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome to Bio Inc. Redemption. Uh, brought to us by Dry Gin Studios, this is going to be a short mini-series on my channel. Likely just two episodes, I'll explain why in a moment. But this game is about either being the doctor and medical staff that is trying to keep a person alive against an advancing disease, or being the disease and um, terminating the person in a painful way, which is why they let you over here, choose life or choose death, which is why I say we'll likely do two episodes, one for each, hopefully in an attempt to help everyone decide if this game is worth their money. Currently $12.99 on Steam at the time of this recording. Uh, I have not played this game much. I've simply messed with the sound options and whatnot. As you can see, I have zero experience because I want this to be some honest real-time feedback and not so much any kind of tutorial. Let's uh, jump into uh, it. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Choose life campaign. Uh, learn the basics now. Tutorials, pshaw, I don't think I'm gonna do that. We're just going to start a new life campaign. We strongly advise you complete the short life tutorial. Uh, okay. Tutorial it is. Finish the tutorial is my objective. I hope I won't disappoint them. Uh, I'll quickly teach you all the basics so that you can cure your first patient. Wonderful. Uh, your victim's overall health. Yep. Patient's body systems, right? Blood cells and proteins will spawn here. Harvesting them will enable you to earn and spend bio points to diagnose and treat diseases. Got it. Click the highlighted system. Click and hold the left mouse button over the blood cell until the resource is collected. Sweet. Now collect 12. Okay, easy enough. Sounds good. It's like the respiratory system is going down a little bit, though. Hmm. Oh no, oh my. Oh! Uh, immune system, right? Now that you have enough bio points, click the bio map. Sounds good. Diagnose and treat diseases, improve patient lifestyles, and more. Right, I got 12. Different categories of items, symptoms, Patient symptoms. Clicking on a symptom will highlight potential diseases. Cough, sore throat, and fever. Oh, psh. you just need some uh, NyQuil and rest, it sounds like. Click on the symptoms. Oh, click on all of them? Good, now click on the system that you think the symptoms or diseases are originating from. Systems, health, and impact are meaningful hints. Huh. Well, let's, um, let's go back. Oh, they don't want me to go back. Um, yeah, respiratory's going down. What is this? This is muscles now affected by fever. There we go. Yeah, respiratory, a natural born doctor of medicine. Let's try to identify which disease is causing the symptom. Click on the cough symptom. Potential diseases for the cough. You need to perform a diagnostic test to confirm the presence of the disease. Stethoscope exam flu test. Um, well, let's, uh, should we save our points or, yeah, whatever. Let's just do the stethoscope test. Highlight the diseases it will test for. Run the test. Perfect. Diagnosis test progress will be here, provided the test results. Sounds good. Test results are available. You have diagnosed two diseases, bronchitis and flu. Oh, my, oh, my. Okay, open the biomap. Bronchitis and flu, that's no good. We must treat them. Okay, sounds good. Click the bronchitis disease node. And antibiotics. 100% efficiency in seven days. Sounds good. Yep, let's prescribe antibiotics. Okay. Sure. Once the treatment is completed, the overall recovery pro process will increase. Okay, sounds good. Can I, uh... I can't harvest any more of this stuff? Oh, they're just gonna speed this up and make me wait. Oh, you tutorial. Six percent? 
Once the overall recovery reaches 100%, your patient is cured. This tutorial objective is to treat three diseases. Um, okay. Sounds good. Let's get ourselves some more points. Um, okay. Can I treat the, um... <laughs> bed rest. Efficiency 100%. Yeah, sure. Why not? So we still need, um... What, one more disease? Oh, that was handy, trying to draw them all together. Dragging them together, okay, that how that, that works. So we're treating that, what about, um... Uh, okay. It's not really gonna let me pick anything else, is it? Sore throat, oh, the only other thing it could be is H1N1, oh my. You better run that test. You can earn more bio points by upgrading your resource levels. Okay. Upgrade resource, resources level will enable to collect more bio points. Upgrade to the next level once you meet the level requirement. Harvest power, treat at least two diseases. Sounds good. Oh yeah, I like that. Positive for H1N1. Oof, we need to get that under control. Antiviral drugs, three days, and yeah, more bio points. That's good. Antivirals, I think that's going to be better than bed rest. There you go. Yay, tutorial completed. Okay, that was fairly quick. Oh, we exercise at least 36 muscles when we smile. I actually, I did know that. Oh, clinic, hospital. Oh my. Okay. Well, let's. Um, I guess we'll start with med school. Uh, internship. Sure. Ooh. Patient's name. Um. Well, I was gonna put my name, but. Hmm. Uh, okay. It's okay, buddy. I'll uh, I'll take care of you here. Um, difficulty? Uh, let's go to severe. Yeah, yeah. Let's turn it up a little bit. I will save you, Otaku Samurai. I will do it. Um, all booster slots are currently locked at level two. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Fair enough. Your first case. Make a good impression. Reach 100% recovery before Otaku Samurai dies. Oh my. Okay, no boosters. Yep. Um, oof, already starting out in bad shape. Okay, but I don't have any... There we go. Nope, nope, I wasn't close enough. Only got a couple of them. Oh no! That didn't... Would you cut yourself? Oh my, what happened? Renal system, the nervous system is doing really bad. Okay, hold on. Muscle weakness, that's a big deal. Um, possible Parkinson's disease or hemiparesis? Entire left or right side of the body. Muscle weakness, headache, chronic stress. No, hold on, hold on. We've got to find like a shared, oh, hold up. What's this? Paget's disease? Disease of bone interferes with your body's normal recycling process, in which new bone tissue gradually replaces old bone tissue. Um, bone biopsy? Bone death, bone scan, rickets. Arthritis, osteoporosis, no. Bone calcium tests. No, I want to test for this one. So I have to do a bone biopsy. Okay, well I don't have the I don't have the points for that yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. So Ah. 
<laughs> Again, with the bleeding. Oh, the nervous system is just, it's going down fast. Okay, let's, let's focus on the nervous system here. Got severe muscle weakness. Yeah, the nervous system is going down quick. Muscle weakness. Muscle weakness. Um, headache, mood swings, chest pain, paranoia. I guess we could go with... Um, brain PET scan, brain MRI. That's 12. No, we'll run a brain PET scan. Try to figure out what's going on. Oof, that nervous system is struggling. What's this other stuff over here? Lifestyles? Strength training, intensive care, fast diagnosis. Oh. No. I don't have the points for that yet. I gotta get some resources. Take some some cell samples. Negative dementia, positive Parkinson's. Oh my! Carbidopa, levodopa. Um. Oh jeez, fourteen points in thirty-three days. Okay, well we need more points then. That's not good. Hmm. New symptom leg pain. What are these icons here? Huh. Nope, we need a little bit more. Oh, circulatory. Oh my. That's not good. At all. Oh, we need one more. Quickly. <laughs> Quickly! Oh. Well, I turned that difficulty up, huh? Okay. Let's treat the Parkinson's. Efficiency 70%. Treatment time 33 days. Okay. That'll work. Oh, no. Oh, we're missing out on, on our goodies. I know. What is this? Diagnose at least three diseases. Oh, no, we're not there yet. Um, I wish I knew what these little icons were. Shaking and confusion. Um, yeah, we're, we're trying to handle that. Okay, let's go to circulatory. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Oh my goodness. Um, probably mood swings, maybe? Oh, what do we have here? Insomnia, chronic fatigue, headache, mood swings, paranoia, mood swings, headache, confusion. Can we test for both? Neurological exam, polysomnography, ultraviolet light testing, allergy tests. Um, Let's run a let's run a neurological exam. And we're going to have to go figure out something for the circulatory issue here in a minute. A regular heartbeat. Oh my goodness. Test results negative. Um All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. A regular heartbeat. Arrhythmia? Huh. High cholesterol. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Ultrasounds, metabolic panel, we can check for cholesterol. Pulmonary angiogram, electrocardiography, brain MRI. Now let's go with a electrocardiography. I think it's arrhythmia, sweating, elevated heart rate, nausea. No, we'll run the metabolic panel. Um. Ugh, the nervous system, though. My goodness, it doesn't look good. We're gonna have some serious issues here soon. Okay, hold on, what can we do? Intensive care. Um, is there one that looks like the brain? 
heart transplant, Neuroregeneration refers to the regrowth or repair of nervous tissues. Such mechanisms may include the generation of new neurons. Uh, oh, we don't have the points for that. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we did get high cholesterol. We did find that. Treatment is going to be... Statins. Drugs that can lower your cholesterol. Sounds good. Treat it. Oh, the nervous system, though. I'm having a really hard time. All right, we treated the Parkinson's, but we've still got issues. Okay, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to immediately figure out what's going on over here. Last tested was negative. Headache, mood swings, chronic stress, burnout. Nervous breakdown? Alzheimer's? Major depression? Um, well, we don't have all the symptoms, though. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, um... What can we test for in a big group? Brain MRI. Psychological evaluation. Yeah, let's do that. Psychological evaluation... And we'll do... We already tested negative for dementia. We might have major depression here. Um, we could do the brain MRI, but we'll need more points. Oh, I should have done that one to begin with. That's what I should have done. Oh, in critical condition, Otaku Samurai has been admitted to the emergency room. The doctors are now intensifying their efforts. Diagnosis tests are cheaper, treatments are cheaper and faster. And now a workaholic and works over 60 hours a week. Wait, what? How is that a symptom? Oh, I'm missing my... <laughs> oh, that's not good. No, no, give me the thing. Taku's samurai systems are failing. Increase failure rate by determining other systems. Each failed system will exponentially damage other systems. Okay. Um, how much is the... Neural regeneration. It's still 14. Oh, I need to stop missing my, my points. Psychological evaluation. You have chronic stress and a nervous breakdown. Um, uh, psychiatrist counseling. 25 days at 100%. Um, stress management therapy or antidepressants. I think we go with the antidepressants and the anxiolytics. Yeah, let's do that. It's faster. Hopefully that'll help. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, can we upgrade? No, we can't upgrade. Give me more points. Quickly. Just a workaholic. You burned yourself out. Okay, okay, hold on. The circulatory system... I'm missing all my points. What else are we looking at here? Blood pressure test. Oh, blood clots. Oh, ultrasounds. Yeah, we need that. Let's do that quickly. Try to pay attention to where my points are. Positive for blood pressure. Um, we don't have any points. Can't do anything with that information. Oh, there they are. I know. Blood clots and deep vein thrombosis. Oh my goodness! <laughs> You're falling apart! Um, do we not have clot busters? Anticoagulants? We don't have enough for any of this. We need the points. There they are. I gotta pay much more attention to that panel on the left there. Okay. Now. Let's go with... Uh, anticoagulants. Yep. And then... Clot busters. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Oh, I missed it. It's okay. We'll, we'll get you back. We'll get you back. We'll, we'll get this all figured out, I promise. Um... There it is. We need those points. I've missed way too many points. Okay. Now we'll take care of the hypertension with... 11 days? No, we're gonna do alpha blockers. Still looking at headache. Which is getting really bad. Stroke? How have we not tested for a stroke? And an aneurysm? Oh, goodness. We need 9 points for that. Oh, muscular is going down. Okay, let's let's get some of these points here. Hopefully we can um Oh, my goodness. It's not looking good. Here we can get both. Okay. 11. We need um Oh, it's not looking good. We've we've cured so many already. No, give me the... Oh, I needed that good one. Need more points. I need more points. There we go. So we can go to intensive care and select neural regeneration. There we go. Taka Samurai receiving an experimental neuroregeneration therapy. Nervous system health increased? Okay, good. Uh, let's upgrade our harvest power. Yep. Treat at least four diseases. Plus three each 15 days? What does that mean? Huh. It doesn't necessarily say what it is. Okay. Oh, I don't think we're... I don't think you're going to make it out of this one. Unfortunately. Oh. Oh, Taku Samurai died in 188 days. Parkinson's disease caused the Taku Samurai's nervous system to collapse first, which then led to a circulatory, circulatory system to collapse. Neuroregeneration was performed on a Taku Samurai as a last resort, but without success. There you have it. Wow. Okay, so I guess I didn't expect to lose on the first one. I did turn the difficulty up. It was a little harder than I thought. Um... See if I retry it though, is it just gonna be the same stuff? I don't know. So let's let's find out what happens. I, I think I can do this difficulty now. I see the mistakes I made. There were a lot of them. It does seem to be similar, but not quite the same. No, it, it definitely looks different. Alright, I'm just gonna pay really close attention to this panel over here. So I can get some points built up. See, it is still the nervous system, though. Oh, I missed that one. It's no good. Okay, what? What? No, this looks like the same thing. Well, let's... Uh, what is it? The brain MRI? Let's let's start with... Oh, we don't have the points for that. Are you kidding me? That's, that's an expensive test. Hmm... Interesting. We need to get these points. These are a big deal. Can't afford to be missing those. So this looks a little different than last time. Uh, a lot of similar symptoms, but... It's like the circulatory system is uh, failing a lot faster. I'm not entirely sure... Nope, missed that one. Oof. Sorry. Goodness. Okay, what are these things here that I'm looking at? Symptoms, tests completed, diet, test efficiency. Okay. 
Let's look again. Muscle weakness, headache. Where do we get some overlaps here? We have this disease again. Insomnia, chronic fatigue. Mm. We'll run you and we'll run you. Yep. That'll be a good start, I guess. Try to rule out those factors. Ooh, those are the good ones we need. They give three. Negative. Um. All right, well, let's go back to the brain MRI. Brain MRI. We'll check for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Hmm. Don't you go away on me. Ooh, they go try to go quick, they do. Not chronic fatigue. Hold on, we had a new symptom. Paranoia. Um, see, that lends itself more to nervous breakdown or dementia. We can't test for both, can we? Mm -hmm. Let's see what the MRI reveals. Oh, that nervous system. I don't like that. That's not good. Whoa! Hypertension, blood clot, stroke, Parkinson's disease, brain aneurysm. Oh, negative brain aneurysm. Negative Alzheimer's. Parkinson's, stroke, blood clots, hypertension. Okay, so it does seem to be kind of sort of similar to the last one. Okay, so let's treat um, the Parkinson's disease. Yep. And now we need more points. Trying to get ahead of the curve a little bit. Nope, I need that blue one. Okay, so now we'll come over here and we'll treat um, blood clots with the anticoagulants. Thrombolysis? Oh, that's expensive. Or we could just take aspirin and hope that... <laughs> well, we could just take aspirin for the stroke. Let's upgrade this. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, we're still losing the, the nervous system a little bit. Um, can we upgrade the next one? No. Um, what is the tutorial? You know, I did the tutorial. It did not explain what those little yellow markers are. Hmm. Okay, let's go back here. We'll treat this with, um... Gosh, do I want to take the road for aspirin? Um, can go alpha blockers. I'd rather get it knocked out 100%. Let's try the aspirin. 50%, but it's only two days. If it doesn't work, then, you know, we're not out a whole bunch. Leg pain... Okay, hold on. Leg pain at a three. Deep vein thrombosis. Yeah, let's check for that. Ultrasounds. Yep, ultrasounds. Sounds good. All right. No, don't go away. I need those points. All right. Parkinson's treated deep vein thrombosis and post phlebitic syndrome. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that is. Caused by damage to your veins from a blood clot. Oh, well, yeah, well, it stands to reason if you have one, you'd have the other, right? Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. But we need to get more points. All right, let's treat the. Uh, Let's treat the deep vein thrombosis with clot busters. I'm not sure what this is. Plus three each 15 days. I don't know plus three what. Oof. Oh, that's that's the aneurysm talking right there. No. Oh, I missed it. No. Okay, well, let's do this. I don't know what this is, but we're going to do it.
Oh, don't don't you go don't you go away on me. I need these points. It was hidden there. Nervous system. No, that's the good one. Ugh. Oh, the bonus points. Um. Ugh. Emergency room. I know. Memory loss. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um. So. Memory loss. Didn't we already check for Alzheimer's disease? We did a brain MRI, didn't we? Didn't I? I could have sworn I did a brain MRI. We've got this going on. No, let's let's go back and um about a psychological evaluation. Oh, we need to go to digestive. <laughs> oh, nice! Randomly evolved fast diagnosis. The diagnosis department in the Taco Samurai's hospital is now 50% faster. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's go to intensive care, neuroregeneration. Yep. There you go. Nervous system health increased by 20%. Oh, we've exited the emergency room at this point. That was just a, a band-aid, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have enough resources for that. Chronic stress and nervous breakdown. Both. Well, we can do... Anxiolytics. Exhibits inhibits anxiety. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Anxio anx yeah. That's fine. Circulatory. Um, let's go with this. Plus one per resource. That sounds like a good thing. We're gonna be back in the emergency room here in a minute. Oh I know. I know. It's not helping. Although we're getting more points now that we've upgraded. Immune boost. Takasamara's immune system is in overdrive and producing more white blood cells. That's good. Oh, oh, they're popping up everywhere. That's good. Hold on. I need all of these. Oh! Systems are failing. Okay. So now we've got a lot of points. Um, we could go to 10% efficiency on treatments. Heart transplant. Uh, sure, let's do it. Heart transplant for you. Okay, new symptom is fatigue. Hold on. We're going to treat the chronic stress with antidepressants. And then we're going to treat the um, post phlebetic syndrome with therapy. Okay. Still going down. Um, memory loss, mood swings, paranoia, fatigue. Um, we've tested for this. Major depression and Alzheimer's. Brain MRI, psychiatric assessment, we'll do that. Yep, there goes the nervous system. Muscular is going to be next. Dementia, ah, so that was different than last time. I feel like last time dementia was... Yep, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to prescribe cholinesterase inhibitors, sure. Um, okay, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Although we're losing more, um, okay, hold on. What do we do with these lifestyles here? 
boost the following system's health each seven days. Um, we need... Hold on. Nervous, muscular. Let's see if we can do something like that. Nervous, relaxation therapy. Yep. Nervous and muscular yoga. Yep, that'll help. Sleep routine, digestive renal, circulatory, digestive renal, skeletal muscular, circulatory. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's not recovering these, though. Oh, it doesn't recover them? What? It's like trying to stem the tide, but it can't. <laughs> He's doing yoga. I love it. I love it. Okay, hold on. Memory loss. Did we really not check? I could have sworn we did a brain MRI. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Um, mood swings, fatigue, nausea. Oh, oh, of course. Um, high cholesterol, right? We need a metabolic panel, and we're already doing the brain MRI. Yep. Alright, let's see what that gives us. Oh, it's about to be bad. Positive for Alzheimer's disease. Okay. We'll treat those. Yep. High cholesterol. Yep, we're going to treat that too then. Um, strict diet? No, we need statins. We need something that works right now. Oh, we don't have the points. Okay. All right, hold up. Oh, it's going down quickly. Okay, hold on, hold on. We've got this. We've got this. Okay. Oh, tell me that's everything. Nope, no, no, no. Irregular heartbeat. Okay, hold on a second. Can we... We've already done that one. Um, what else is struggling here? Nervous, muscular, circulatory... Um, digestive, respiratory, nervous, skeletal, bone graft? No, it's muscular. Oh, remember. Anabolic steroids therapy. Sorry, we've got to do it. And it's still going down. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to lifestyles. Because we've already done all that. This one's locked. Mediterranean diet? How about aerobic exercise? Oh. It costs points to tell you to do aerobic exercise? Oh, that's rough. What's level four? Oh, we already are level four. Okay. Symptoms, tests completed, disease diagnosis, regular heartbeat, and fatigue. Fatigue could be anything, but a regular heartbeat is just arrhythmia. All right, well, let's, let's check it. I mean, if we know that that's what it is, it seems silly to waste time with the test if that's the only thing it could be. Arrhythmia and angina. Oh, I see. Okay, well, nitroglycerin. Yep, will work right now. And then pacemaker. Oh, you're going to need a pacemaker. Is that not enough? Did we not do it? Um, respiratory. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, that was close. You had a lot going on with you, man. I only got three out of four. Okay, so turning up the difficulty, um, definitely, uh, definitely made it challenging. Hey, we did the we did the internship. Okay, well that's where we're gonna wrap up episode one of Bio Inc. Redemption. Um. Again, I'm not going to... Oh, look at this. Diagnose it. Diagnose all the diseases before it's too late. Treat all the diseases before it's too late. Okay. Um, 
But that's where we're going to ramp the things up for this episode. So thank, uh, this has been BioInc Redemption Episode 1. It's really just going to be a, probably a two-part miniseries, unless there is massive demand. But I have a bunch of other stuff that I'm trying to do. So this is really just to showcase the game. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. And also, I hope this, has, um, this episode will in part help you decide if this game is worth the money for you to play. Please come back next time as we take on the other side of this game and play from the disease side of things, which we will also um, play on the harder difficulty so as to give everybody a feel for how the game goes and how it challenges you. So until next time, take care.